Hi guys, this is my video on how to make food for an adult blue tongue skink. Uh, your blue tongue skink should be fed about once a week, no more than twice a week. Younger blue tongue skinks, about three months old, should be fed every day. And as it gets older, it would be fed every other day. Uh, when it comes to adult blue tongue skinks, it would need about 40% vegetable and 60% meat, which include dog food and insects and snails and slugs um, that you can find. I recommend you not get your snails and slugs from your garden. You can pick up frozen snails at your local reptile store or even at your local oriental market. Also, you can also pick a canned snails that have been cooked, um, sold online such as Chewy.com. You can get one small can for three dollars and 99 cents so how you would make your blue tongue skinks food is you would shred the vegetables I have here colored greens shred um, you would shred these in small pieces or you can use the food chopper and you would chop up the vegetables and I have here dandelion greens that were mixed together and you chop these up Dandelion greens may be a little difficult for some to get. You don't want to get these from your garden unless you know they are pesticide free. Uh, you can pick these up at Whole Foods. I actually found these at Whole Foods. Uh, you might not be able to find it at your normal uh, local grocery uh, supermarket as they are not commonly uh, sold. For supplements, I use RepCal, calcium with vitamin D. And I also use Exoterra multivitamin and I feed my skink about twice a week so for each feeding I would include a quarter tablespoon of calcium with vitamin 3 mixed with the food and on the second feeding I would do the same thing again except I would include a tiny spoonful of multivitamin supplement into his food and then I'll add a little bit of water mix everything together so that way he would eat his vegetables that's mixed in with everything, including the dog food. The thing with dog food is that, a lot, of course, there's a debate out there whether or not you should feed it with or without dog food. I find that it works well getting your blue tongue skinks to eat vegetables. Blue tongue skinks are known to be very picky eaters, especially when it comes to their salads. They don't like to eat their salads. They like to eat out, eat the, their favorite parts, and then they'll spit out the rest. So the best way to get them to eat vegetables is to mix it with dog food. And you have to mix it real good so that way he can't even pick out what he wants without eating some vegetables in, inside. And I would feed about one tablespoon of dog food mixed with the vegetables, mixed with the supplements, and about three or four pieces of frozen snails. You may also use hornworms. Sometimes I do include hornworms instead of snails. And the hornworms are really good um, worms for lizards. It has, it's high in protein, it's high in calcium. It's really good for them and you don't have to even take care of them or feed them. But they are a little bit expensive. Uh, my skink doesn't like any other worms but hornworms. But if your skink will take it, if you can find some um, earthworms that are not from a bait shop, but actual, actually sold from a reptile store, if you can find other type of worms your skink will eat, that would help too. You can also find um, canned snails and canned caterpillars and canned insects sold online, such as Chewy.com, if your skinks would eat them. But I find that it's easier to just buy a batch of frozen snails. It's a lot cheaper than getting those canned ones. So whichever works for you. That's the wonderful part about owning a blue tongue skink is that they love to eat only if they eat what they love. But they're also very picky eaters if you're trying to force them to eat what they don't love, which are vegetables. So you just have to trick them a little bit to get them to eat that. And... Um, that's it. Um, unfortunately, I'm not, I'm not able to make the food in this video because my skink is in brumation and I just fed him about two days ago. So this is just to give you an overview of what I do when I do feed him. 
and um, if this you can purchase at your local Walmart I find this uh, to be a pretty good brand and um, I believe that Doc foodadvisor.com also rated this as a good brand so you know you can also feed some of this to your dog if you happen to have one as well and I would normally share this with uh, between my dogs and my skink so nothing goes to waste if you have any questions please feel free to leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you thank you